The liver typically stores some fat, but if more than 5% of your liver's weight is fat, then you have mass D, which stands for Metabolic Dysfunction Associated Steatotic Liver Disease. The condition affects 100 million people in the U.S. As a form of fatty liver disease, Massel D is linked to health conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and high cholesterol. It is not caused by drinking alcohol. About 13% of people with Massel D also develop MASH. This stands for Metabolic Dysfunction Associated Steatohepatitis. MASH can cause swelling, inflammation, and liver damage or may stay silent and cause no symptoms at all. People with overweight or obesity are more likely to get Massel D and MASH. The risk is even higher in people with type 2 diabetes. Other risk factors include being 40 or older, smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, not moving around much, and a diet high in sugar and saturated fat. Massel D and MASH can lead to more serious complications, such as fibrosis, which is scar tissue in the liver, Fibrosis can progress to cirrhosis, which is severe scarring in the liver. Cirrhosis, in turn, can disrupt blood flow through the liver and make it harder for the liver to clear toxins from the blood. It can also increase the risk of liver cancer and lead to liver failure. Many people with Massel D or MASH don't feel sick at first. Eventually, Massel D may cause symptoms such as fatigue, general weakness, and pain on the right side of the belly. Massel D that progresses to MASH may cause symptoms such as itchy skin, swelling in the belly, legs, or feet, trouble breathing, easy bruising and bleeding, enlarged spleen, spider-like blood vessels beneath the skin, and jaundice, which is yellow skin or eyes. Since Massel D and MASH don't always cause symptoms, screening is critical. Catching either condition early makes treatment more effective. It can also prevent further damage to your liver. To diagnose Massel D or MASH, your healthcare professional will review your medical history and perform a physical exam. They may also order blood tests and or imaging studies. If your healthcare professional thinks you might have MASH, they probably will order a liver biopsy to be sure. The most helpful treatment for Massel D or MASH is losing weight. You can do this by eating more fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats, avoiding sugary foods and alcohol, and following a structured exercise program. These same lifestyle choices can help prevent Massel D and MASH if you have not yet been diagnosed. Massel D and MASH can hurt your health by increasing the risk of other conditions like cardiovascular disease. They may also shorten your life expectancy. While there's no cure for Massel D or MASH, lifestyle changes can make a big difference. Losing 5% or more of body weight may reduce liver fat, Losing 10% or more may reverse liver fibrosis or MASH. Your healthcare professional can help you create a plan for losing weight in a healthy way. To learn more about Massel D and MASH, please visit ace.com slash liver disease. Thank you to our sponsors, Behringer Ingelheim and Perspectum for providing support for this video.